And in my case, I buy things that I know that I might not necessarily wear for winter, but I can style them for spring. So I am going to talk about how to style those things that you don't know how to cross over. And I will touch on those people that like spring and summer clothes better than fall winter, but this is my jacket closet and, uh, you know, I'm a fall winter kind of gal. So what I like to do when I'm looking at clothes, and I've talked to you guys about this before when it comes to blazers or jackets, is I like to look at things for what they aren't. And I know that sounds really confusing, but my client in this last session had this dress that she was wearing. And it was the only dress she felt really comfortable in, but it was a winter dress. And I asked her, what makes it a winter dress? And she goes, well, because it's black and white. It was snakeskin. And it was kind of a like this kind of snake skin, but it was chiffon. And I said, that's a lightweight material. You could wear that in the spring, summer. What makes you think that it's on a spring, summer look? And she said, because spring and summer are supposed to be bright and sunshiny and they don't have to be. So I told her the same dress that she wore with tights and boots. She could wear with a sandal or she could wear with a white sneaker, high bow, and it would be just as applicable. And she's like, I never thought about that before. So I am going to show you a few things in my closet and how I make them what they aren't. And I'm going to show you a few things that I style differently for different seasons, because that's another big thing in getting the most out of your wardrobe is making sure that you have stuff that you can wear in different ways during different times of the year. I almost said times of the month, but that's something different. So a lot of people get kind of wrapped up in blazers and they don't know how to wear them because they look too businessy. Let me push this back a little bit. And for me, I like to treat blazers like I would a leather jacket or a sweatshirt and just throw them on with a band tee. Now I wear this one all the time, you've seen this one, but what I like to do is I like to style it in a way that doesn't feel super businessy. So I told her these blazers she's wearing to work, you can trade them out for your normal boring sweatshirt you look professional but you also look cool enough to go out so that's one thing another thing i want you guys to rethink is the leather jacket as something that's only appropriate for fall winter this is a lightweight leather jacket it's actually a vegan leather jacket and you've seen me wear this a bunch i wear this in the spring and summer over this white linen dress that i have a mini dress and it's perfect for those nights where it's kind of like in between and you don't know what it is. So like I wore this in a white linen dress out to this movie in the park where I got a little chilly at night and it was great. These are not the right jeans to be wearing, but I did a bunch of Zoom calls today and I wanted to be comfortable, but also dressed. Suede is another one that you can wear during the spring summer. This one is a vintage French coat that I like to wear with shorts because what I like is that it's thin enough where it doesn't look bulky, but I wear this with shorts and a t-shirt and ankle boots and it still feels like I'm just wearing a shirt. But most people would look at suede and go, ugh, that is such a fall winter thing. And that really kind of boxes us in to where we can wear these things. Because if it goes in my closet, I have to wear it multiple times a year or it has to make me super happy. And I also live in Tennessee where right now it, we're snowed in, but tomorrow's gonna be 55. So you just never know. This is another great blazer that I wear all the time. The only real thing I have in my closet that I can't wear multiple seasons is my fake fur. And I have a ton of fake fur, but I wear enough of it where I can justify it taking up space. This is another great thing, long sleeve shirts. Oop, let me just throw things. This is my Saint Laurent shirt that I got and I got this one, I got it in the men's section. It originally retailed for, I think, $7.80, and I paid $100 for it. I got it in the men's section because men's clothing, if you want to do high-end designer and you want to do new, always go on sale. The women's never does. So the men's ready-to-wear is your, is your friend. And if you like the same kind of silhouettes as I do, then Saint Laurent and Celine men are going to be two of your go-tos. But this is a lightweight sweater but it's made out of cotton and terry cloth. So it is a spring fabric in a winter silhouette. So I wear this all, all the time. I wear this in fall, winter, and I wear it in spring, summer. In spring, summer, I'll do it with a pair of shorts 
or I'll do it with a skinny jean and a tennis shoe. And in the winter time, I will put a scarf and a coat on over it and it looks very Bob Dylan. The other thing I want you to think about is t uh, shirt dresses. This is from Equipment. This is the Kate Moss collab. It's a silk shirt dress. So what I do with this is I wear it on its own with a pair of sandals during the spring summer. But in the winter, I wear it with a pair of skinny jeans and a black t-shirt. And I put this furry vest over it. But either way, it's lightweight where I can build upon it or it's lightweight where I can be comfortable in it. And it's amazing and fantastic and goes both ways. So what I do when I go out and I you know, start shopping during the spring summers, I look for stuff that I could build up over it. I'm gonna show you another really great example that I have. And it's one of my favorite dresses I own. The other cool thing about that shirt dress that I forgot to mention, by the way, is you can also wear it open like a kimono. So I could wear all black and just leave it open and it looks really cool. But it's a high quality material. I got this at a secondhand store. I paid like 30 bucks for it. It retailed for 200. So here's an example of a sheer dress that most people would only wear during one season. It looks rough on the hanger, but it's one of my favorites. Same in a consignment store. It's no longer open in Nashville, unfortunately. This is a Diane von Furstenberg chiffon leopard dress and it's super big and it's like very tent-like but it has a tie in the back where you can make it as tight as you want it. But some people would look at that and go, oh, it's sheer, it's only for summer, it's only meant to be a cover-up, it's only meant to be whatever. I wear it with black tights and these boots and a black fur coat and I've made it. I've made it a winter look. You know, in the before times when we could go out. So look for sheer pieces like that that you can build upon and also look for these longer shirt dresses that you could wear multiple ways if that's something you're into. If that's not stuff that you're into, that's totally fine. I have, this is just my closet that I have here, this baby closet. But I want you to think about things in seasons because I want you to think about when you're purchasing things, what you're purchasing and purchasing with intention. So when you go out and you shop these sales, I want you to save money. And you can also get these sales on secondhand stuff as well. So it's not just your fancy Nordstrom, Neiman's, that kind of thing. It's gonna be on Poshmark, it's gonna be on The Real Real and Tradesy, they're all gonna be doing winter cleanouts. So when you look at something online, look at the fabric content, look at it and see if it's something that you can wear through spring. Because the only thing that makes these fall winter pieces is the colors in them. And that's because they're dark. I don't wanna wear neon, so I shouldn't have to in spring, summer. All of these things are transitional and that's another step to making your closet the most sustainable closet it can be. So shop, 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 March 1st. And the big thing is right around Labor Day is when it all goes away again. So March 1st, September 1st, that's when you start getting into it. I was always pissed because I loved fall and winter clothes and my birthday, September 5th. So I would get these fabulous outfits. I would get these like, my 20th birthday, I got leopard hot pants and I wore them with black tights and a black leather jacket and black thigh high boots. And it was like 80 degrees and I was so mad because I was committing. I'm like, it's fall. I need to wear my fall clothes. But those pieces I could take in more multiple ways and I actually still have them somewhere even though they don't fit because I'm saving them for a photo shoot. But think about it. If you are the opposite and you are a spring summer kind of person, do the same thing. Stock up on your fall winter stuff. Try to find fall winter stuff that's either in whites or creams and that way you can wear your brighter colored stuff all through the year. Hope you guys have the best day. Hope you guys are having, you know, a, a decent time being snowed in if you are. Hope you're staying warm. And I hope that uh, you're not stuck like I am right now. Because we've organized this closet so many times. Um, but the TV show is going to be posted on here. My latest episode is the Charlie Star one. Uh, you can catch them on YouTube. And if you like the TV show, write to them and tell them that you like it. That'd be really nice because then we could renew for a second season. If you have any questions about what to buy during March and September, please let me know. I'm going to be doing a spring what I'm buying, what I'm not buying video here pretty soon. But I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye.